welcome you all uh, to the uh, the experimental session of the engineering physics lab in this particular session uh, let us going to conduct an experiment by the name uh, photodiode characteristics okay so <clears throat> next one we know that the photodiode is a device a semiconducting device which converts a light energy into an electrical energy so as the name itself indicating that photo is nothing but the light diode is nothing but a semiconducting uh, device which consists of p and junction okay so uh, here uh, here i think you can uh, see here this is the uh, photo diode okay and this is an led okay you can use any light source instead of led but this is a photo diode okay so what happen is so this is an light source so when a suitable amount uh, the intensity of light is incident on this photo diode what happen by absorbing the, this light by absorbing this light the electrons will ejected from this photo diode and that electron will comes here and it is counted as a a photo current okay uh <coughs> so this photodiode we know that uh, it bas basically uh, works like a solar cells so as you know that if the more amount uh, more the intensity of light is incident on your solar cells the output is also very high in the similarly when the photodiode when you incident more intensified light on a photodiode even the current is also more so in this overall scenario we are going to uh, find out or we are going to study what is the iv characteristics of this photo diode only the iv characteristics i and i mean the current v is nothing but the voltage okay so uh, let us do the uh, the circuit for this particular uh, study of this photo uh, diode characteristics okay so this is the ready circuit for this photo characteristics first of all uh, uh, this is the circuit diagram here it is the battery the power supply variable power supply Uh, the voltage uh, power supply here r is the resistance i is the ammeter where this is the photo diode and this is the voltage voltmeter okay so these are connected with regard to this and uh, let us study this particular circuit okay first so this is the voltage now voltage now we need to connect this voltage to the circuit by connecting like this okay so once it is connected so the voltage starts okay to the circuit and here is the resistance it is internally connected and here also it is internally connected and this voltage need to be identified hence with parallel to this we are need to connect the voltmeter so this is the negative terminal to the negative of the voltmeter and positive to the positive okay now what we need to do is so here we need to connect a photo diode okay this is a photo diode but photo diode is not in this particular circuit it is in the uh, in the in, uh, in another circuit this is the photo diode system okay so here you have a two terminal here is a two terminal literally you need to connect this photo diode to here okay so usually photo diode is works on reverse bias not on forward bias so photo diode has its characteristics in reverse bias not in forward bias because in forward bias the photo diode works as a normal diode okay so hence we need to con connect them in a in a reverse bias okay so as you see this this is a positive terminal and this is a negative terminal so this positive is connected to the negative terminal as you know this this line indicates that in the line uh, in the diode which indicates the negative terminal so from positive you need to connect to the negative similarly from negative to the positive okay then what happen as you soon incident a light when this light falls on this particular uh, photo diode what happen the electrons are start i mean ejecting the electrons are start ejecting and that the electrons is ejecting it's nothing but the current is 
coming. So this current which is coming here is connect uh, which need to be measured using an ammeter here. So here is the current which is coming from the photodiode and which is need to uh, measure here and hence we need an ammeter here. So here let us connect an ammeter to measure the photo current okay so positive to positive and negative to negative so this is the overall circuit of this particular photo diode okay so after this connection so once again i tell you this is the power supply we, we are going to connect that and after that the voltage the main voltmeter which is in parallel next photodiode in reverse bias and the another one is the current which is coming from this photodiode should be connected in series through the ammeter okay so this is the overall circuit now we need to switch on the circuit okay okay fine so here you can see here this is the knob this is the intensity or the power knob by varying this you can see here the light intensity is also vary okay so by varying this we can vary the light also but in this particular uh, experiment we need to keep this intensity a constant let us keep the intensity of this light as 10 milliwatt so let us keep the intensity 10 milliwatt so after this after keeping this intensity uh, 10 milliwatt, we need to close this lid because what happens? There is an uh, a light and a sunlight may enter to this incident on this photodiode. Hence, to avoid that, so we need to okay close this lid. Then what we need to do is so here it is the voltage knob. So what happens is uh, you can see in this particular. Uh, uh, diagram uh, here the voltage start from 0 0.1 0 0.2 0.3 up to 2.5 so let us vary this voltage from 0 to 2.5 and note down the corresponding microammeter reading that's it so let's start so for 0 it's almost 0 and let's start for 0.1 So we can uh, vary this voltage through point 0.1. So let us keep this as point 0.1. Okay, this is around point 0.1. And let us note down the corresponding reading that is 14. So we need to write here for point 0.1 it is 14. Okay, so similarly let us do it for point 0.2. So let us vary it for point 0.2. Okay, it is around 61 okay so let us uh, write here okay note down it here similarly 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and uh, after 0 0.5 you may directly go for 0 0.1 you may go for 1 take down the corresponding reading 1.5 next uh, 2 2.5 like this so this is how we need to note down the readings corresponding readings so similarly after completing the reading up to 2.5 what we need to do is we need to make this voltage up to zero and we can take a another set of readings by keeping the in the power knob to the 20 or 21 let it be here it's a 21 so even uh, let us keep this constant as 21 the power knob 21 milliwatt and repeat the experiment the same as usual 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 like this okay so this is how the circuit uh, I mean the readings will be noted down okay. this after note down this value after uh, we need to draw a graph with respect to the voltage and the current okay so uh, even you can do it for 30 milliwatt similarly as 10 and 21 you can do it for 30 milliwatt okay 
So here, here uh, in the x-axis, we keep uh, we need to plot a voltage, and here it's the current. So current start from 100 to uh, 900 or 1000, and the voltage start from 0 to 2.5, and plot down the graph. So you get a graph like this. Okay. So here you can see the the current will be go on increasing in reverse order and become constant and similarly it's constant similarly it's constant okay so this is how you get a, a graph so this ends up the photo characteristics or the iv characteristics of the photo diode okay. the most probable viva question may occur in this particular experiment is maybe what is semiconductor uh, what is an intrinsic semiconductor or what is an extrinsic semiconductor and what is photodiode and uh, uh, what is the main difference between an p-type and n-type semiconductor and uh, critically more complicated means why the curve why this graph uh, almost constant at certain per, uh, at, at certain voltage you may ask what is the reason it will uh, uh, take a constant value of current at certain particular voltage this may be asked and what happens if the intensity of the light is increases um, to the photoelectric current so this may be the most probable uh, questions that may occur in this particular uh, experiment